All right, Todd, thanks. But let's keep talking about this, the potential for, for flooding here today because of the moon. Yeah, and what's the most notorious place for oh flooding boy. in Maine? Probably Camp Ellis in no, Saco. Sure. And so Katie Bavoso is there this morning to check things out. Hi, Katie. Good morning, Lee and Sharon. That's right. I'm here at Camp Ellis in Saco. No flooding just yet, but the tide is starting to come in behind me. It's creeping up there and it's all in preparation for the king tide expected to come in later this morning. Now, king tides can occur three to four times a year, but this one today is expected to be the highest king tide of the year at 12 feet, the largest we've seen since 1999. This video shows the last king tide last month on October 18th, causing plenty of flooding in downtown Portland. Today's king tide is expected to be at its highest along the southern Maine coast beginning at 11 this morning. The record breaking height of this king tide is due to that super moon we saw last night, the largest moon we've seen since 1948. Officials say people along the coast should be prepared and on the lookout for flooding, but Maine is lucky to have that rocky coastline, which prevents too much damage. Now this picture, uh, hopefully we've got it here, shows flooding at the clam bake in Scarborough last month during that king tide. That was at 11 feet 7 inches. Today's king tide, though, will be 5 inches higher than that. Now here in Saco, specifically along the Saco River, the U.S. Geological Survey has installed a water gauge, and that water gauge is to monitor the water levels, see where the tides land, so they could also uh, test and monitor those effects with climate change as well. So we'll definitely see that put to good use later this morning. In Saco for News Center, I'm Katie Bavoso. Lee and Sharon, back to you. All right, Katie, thank you very much.